Hey guys, I feel kind of miserable, but I'm hoping with a soda and some editing, this video will still be Chair! Oh, oh my shit. god! I kind of wanted to share like random facts that most people might not know about me. And when I say this, I mean like these are like deep cut facts. This isn't like my favorite food is pizza and I, my favorite singer is my vocal coach. Like these are like things that like I don't want to say they're secrets because they're not, they're not really anything that's worth being kept except for maybe one or two of them. Things I haven't even told like my closest friends just because they've never came up in conversation. I have or had, I don't know if braces fix this, but a tooth that's like uh, rotated 180 degrees the wrong way, it's like a backwards tooth. I would show you what tooth it is, but I have no clue. It's like one of my back teeth. On top of that, I also used to have a hair birthmark. It was in the back of my head. My hair is naturally brown, right? So I had like a bleach blonde, like tiny little streak of hair in the very back of my head and I'm pretty sure this was before I dyed my hair and I'm pretty sure this was before I dyed my hair green so I found a video or two that I posted on musically with green hair don't ask me what the context behind these is don't don't cringe somebody just told me across gate politics I'm so flattered <laughs> I think I'm interesting enough to hold a conversation as long as it's not about sports. Five, six, seven, eight. I be looking like ding. You be looking like err. But obviously, you know, I tried dyeing it purple. I dyed it black just recently, so that's gone. When I was a baby, I think I had to do like physical and speech therapy. I don't remember exactly what I did, but I know I had to do some sort of like therapy and I had like a couple different like therapists and I remember having one that I really hated. The earliest I remember making videos in general, I was like eight years old. My mom had a video camera and I went by the the user Lover 88 and I just recorded silly little videos. I never posted them. I don't think there's even an Oshawott Lover 88 on YouTube, so it's like there's nowhere to find these. I think even my brother and I have lost them. We used to watch them on our laptops all the time, but we don't have those anymore. And we like have since like either lost the SD cards or like reset them, so they're gone. I think this might have been like my third grade graduation. It was a big year for either my brother or for me or for both of us. At the end of the year, my parents like to get us some sort of little gift to, you know, celebrate us passing that school year. And obviously it was like a big year for one of us, so my parents, and they were like, we want to get you something big. And my first thought was, we're getting Facebook accounts? They were going to get us season passes to The Great Escape. And instead, I chose a Facebook account. In my defense, I'm not a roller coasters person. I don't like heights, and I don't trust the cart of a roller coaster. The first song I remember singing... This might be in general. I wrote down the first song I remember singing in the car, but I, this might have been just the first song I ever sang, besides, like, you know, nursery rhymes, whatever. Like, the first actual pop song I sang was Umbrella by Rihanna. As you guys know now, I'm, like very hugely attached to bands. And the first band that I grew attachment to was Big Time Rush. So this is a completely different fact, which a lot of people probably know, but I met them. I met Big Time Rush. But that's not what I wrote down for this fact. Besides Big Time Rush, the real first thing that I like became like a really huge fan of, became really obsessed with, was Smosh. I used to be a huge Smosh fan back when it was like just Ian and Anthony. I think it was like around the time that Anthony like changed his haircut. Which, it's so specific that I remember that. Yeah, I used to be a huge Smosh fan. I would watch their videos all the time. Speaking of YouTube, I used to fall asleep listening to Good Mythical Morning on my Wii U. I remember it so vividly because I would like set it on top of that dresser, like the big pad thing. I would set it on top of my dresser and turn on Good Mythical Morning and just leave it on shuffle. I thought every pit at a concert was a mosh pit. I feel like I've already told this on YouTube, but I'm gonna tell it again. Like, if you got, like, pit tickets for, like, One Direction or, like, Ariana Grande, 
or like, I don't know. Why can I not think of any other pop artists? Other genres, not even pop. Like if, if you got pit tickets, I thought that was a mosh pit. I got pit tickets for Grayscale, technically. I mean, it wasn't pit. It wasn't pit. It was like general admission, but I was still in a pit of people. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure there was a mosh pit going on, but it was behind me. I was not part of the mosh pit. But when I was younger, I thought every pit was a mosh pit. I've definitely gained confidence as a singer, right? Thinking about when I was younger, I had literally no confidence. I would only sing the chorus of a song. Like, I had to build up confidence to sing verses. I remember this story so vividly. At my old house, in our basement, we had like a little like elevated kind of stage kind of thing. And I had a fake microphone, kind of like this one. Or I don't know if it was fake or not. This one's real, but like, I don't use it for its intended purposes. I just use it as a prop. Oh my god. Wires everywhere. God damn it. There we go. You know, and I set this up on the stage, and I started singing, and, you know, I started singing verses. And it's like, this is a huge revelation for me. I'm singing complete songs. My brother came down, he was like, I don't know, I'm like... Show. And he's like, you know, more like, fucking stupid, something like that. Made me cry, took me like months to gain back the, that confidence to sing verses and songs again. Imagine if I tried to do vocal lessons with that level of confidence. Josh, I can't even sing the verses of this song. I'm not, I'm, I'm too nervous. Oh my god, okay, I have a runny nose, so this is gonna be so hypocritical, but the sound of sniffling, the sound of like, <laughs> or like clearing your throat, <clears throat> like that, pisses me off, drives me off the wall. So, during my last vocal lesson, Josh, was, you know, sniffling a lot because he has allergies and it's like, it almost drove me nuts, guys. My first relationship, relationship, was with a girl from Funimate and this was also kind of my gay awakening because, like, she was the first girl I ever had a crush on. If you don't know what Funimate is, it's a lot different than what it was when I used it. But right now, Funimate is a like app to make fan edits but it's like also combined with like a social media app it's like you can post on there and you can get featured on there but when i used it it was more of like lip sync videos and then add funky effects to it but it was still that social media thing you could get featured i'm verified on there i have like 150,000 followers on there i never use it anymore but yeah i think we i think we lasted like more than a month i think i still follow her on instagram we never, like, talk, though. I wonder how she's doing. Hope she's doing well. So, if you know me, I like to sing. We've talked about this already. I did chorus in school up until... It was, like... Chorus started, I think, in third grade. And it went... Uh, I did it up until, like, grade seven. And there were a couple reasons why I quit. One, it felt like the same people were getting solos every single time, and that annoyed me. Two, I didn't really like the chorus teacher and three middle school was really when you kind of had to start reading like sight reading reading sheet music and I can't do that I can't read sheet music here's another story about that same music teacher I was a very sensitive child one could argue that I still am but like I think I've gotten better my voice cracked in front of Josh like a week ago when I did a vocal lesson and I didn't cry about it. Oh, I don't remember what it was. I think part of me wants to say we were playing recorder, but I don't think that was it. Something happened and I started crying in my music class. And my teacher decided to call me out in front of the entire class be like, Tiffany, this is a goal you need to work on. You need to stop being a sensitive little bitch. That's not what she said, but that's what I felt. She's not wrong, but like, did she really have to call me out in front of the entire class? For that. When I was in fifth grade in my social studies class, we watched this show called Liberty's Kids and I hated it. I thought it was boring. So that's the first time I fell asleep in class. And ever since then, if we're in class, if I'm in class and we start watching a video that's like more than five minutes long, I will probably fall asleep. I have posted a lot of YouTube videos that I have since deleted. I have done covers before, but I've never really figured out how to do them correctly until 
I figured out how to like, you know, edit the instrumental in and listen to the instrumental with my earbuds. Because before like I'd listen to it, the instrumental, and then I would post it a cappella, or I would have the instrumental actually playing while I'm recording. But then I wouldn't be able to do shit like harmonies and whatever because it would the the instrumental would like overlap. I would record videos with my computer's webcam and I did not, it was not my Mac, so it probably wasn't as good of a webcam. My Mac's webcam isn't that good either. My choker is stinging my throat. I need to take this off. Anyway, I would record videos with my computer's webcam. I remember doing like a parody makeup tutorial. I did a video where I rapped fast parts of 21 Pilots songs. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is I posted a lot of videos and then I've just deleted them. And I really hate it because I wish I could go back and, you know, see how I've edited before and see how I've acted in front of a camera before because I used to I feel like I used to put on a fake voice. I'd like up my pitch and be like, hey guys, we're doing this today or something. I don't, it might have just been my regular voice, but just not as mature, not as, you know, having gone through puberty yet. I'm not sure. I don't have the videos anymore. So this, this fact was inspired by my haunted cover from yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Because if you listen to the song close enough, you can hear Josh breathe before every line. And I hate that. Pull a taze on day. Pull a chocolate rain. Pull yourself away from the microphone to breathe. So there's this pizza company that sells frozen pizzas like DiGiorno whatever um, called Wild Mike's and my family eats their pizza every week. We've been eating their pizza for years. I think they like posted about merch on their website or something and I'm like man I wish I could get the, this and that. It was like a beanie and a t-shirt, I think, but I like don't have money and they just decided to send it to me. So I got free pizza merch. In middle school, I wanted to be a photographer as a career. I wanted to be like a nature photographer. That definitely has changed. My first like experience with like video production, a little bit, of, not really editing, but like there was this app where you could like insert yourself into music videos. I don't want to gatekeep, but it doesn't exist anymore. I don't think I could tell you what it's called, and even if I could, it's like they didn't update it, so you can't download it on your phone anymore. But like, I would just like throw myself into music videos, and it was fun, and that's what inspired me to start like, you know, inspired me to get these things. Oh, I already mentioned this earlier in the video. When I was younger, I dyed my hair green. I wanted it. At first I kind of wanted like a multicolor kind of, like the base would be purple but there would be like streaks of other colors. That's what I remember but I, I couldn't find my inspiration pick on Pinterest the, the other day when I was thinking about this video. But my aunt's hairstylist couldn't do that so I'm like okay how about we try teal? How about we go teal? And it did not end up teal, it ended up green. I want to explain this one but it's like I don't know if I should talk about it online. I guess I'll just say it. I don't do it anymore. I had a bad habit of stealing. I stole like $80 from my parents' credit card. I don't remember exactly what, I think it was like a picture of like our entire grade. My parents claimed that they ordered it, but then I didn't get one, so then I was angry. I saw one on the floor and I grabbed it, and it ended up being my crushes at the time, so that wasn't fun, but I stole it. I ended up giving it back to him because, you know, in the at the end of the day, I'm a good person. <laughs> It got so bad that my teacher at the time gave me a notebook to write my feelings in. I never used it. This last fact that I have about me is pretty lame. We are ending this on a very anticlimactic note, but I used to make vines with my stuffed animals. I'm sure like every kid did in the age of vine. Like, you guys know those like beanie boos? They were like yay big. They had the big eyes. I wish I, I, I wish I remembered my Vine user so I could put some on the screen, but I don't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different, a little bit something new, something creative. Sorry I don't have the gumption I normally do when I film. I was kind of miserable, but I really wanted to film, so I hope you still enjoyed it. If you liked this video, like it, comment down below, share with your friends, subscribe, hit the bell icon, crazy, wacky, weird, amazing, fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I never know how to end these things.